TV Power Up, serving photovoltaic contractors and integrators with practical information and answers. This is Tim Pelega with Matt Owens of Am Meridian Specialty Services, and you're putting together what I understand is the largest utility owned PV system in the state of Ohio. That's correct. Well, how long ago did you get started, and how long is the project going to take to proceed? We started the uh, first week of December with actual construction on site. And uh, right now we're on... And just to clarify, this yeah. is the first day of March. First day of March, uh, so that was December, first week of 2009. Um, and we're on track for a uh, targeting a March 24 startup of the system. Outstanding, so that's yeah. quite a turnaround. So yeah. how big is the system? Uh, it's just over a megawatt. It's actually 1.1 1 .1, uh, megawatts is the DC size of the array. Okay. Uh, as far as field area, uh, there's nine acres inside the perimeter fence and actually seven acres occupied by modules and racks. Okay, what kind of panels are you using? What kind of racks, inverters? These are sharp utility scale modules. They're coming uh, 121 and 128 watt versions and we're using a Schletter racking system. Okay, very good. And what type of inverter are you using? Inverters are coming actually from Xantrex. Okay. Uh, we're using a Schneider Electric for the power conversion equipment. Okay, very good. And then the uh, installation, how did it progress along? Can you just kind of walk us through the procedure here a little bit? Yeah, first step was actually uh, surveying on site. We had uh, 1,520 post locations that had to be laid out it's a lot of posts. A lot location. of posts. That's so uh, Schleder could come in with their RAM okay. and put the posts in the ground. Uh, once the posts are in the ground, we could start building the rack structure on top of that okay. and uh, progress from there. How long did it take to put the post in and you said a RAM? What were they doing? Yeah, the post installation took uh, close to a month to get them all in and we were handicapped by some site conditions. We started out... Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Those site conditions still exist here Yeah, today. we started out in a similar muddy state and it got very cold very quickly. So we went from mud to everything literally frozen in place. Okay, so these posts aren't concreted in, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. They, uh, Schletter has a ram that is essentially a rubber tracked vehicle, kind of like a bobcat. Now it has a hydraulic ram on it with a mass that can articulate in all axes to get uh, your post perpendicular. And uh, they pull it up in place, get the post right, drive it into the ground. In this case, we're driving them six feet into the ground. Okay, very good. Now, are they all perfectly in a line when they get done? No. <laughs> okay. And so, how do you how do you work with that? Yeah, we have a stake location where the post you know is marked to go in the ground, but of course, it's impossible uh, to get them perfectly lined mm -hmm. up. And with the Schletter system, uh, the head has quite a bit of adjustment in it, and uh, up and down, fore and aft, as well as an angler. Uh, orientation. Oh, very nice. So yeah. they don't have to be perfectly lined up. Correct. You can be off uh, an inch or two uh, and be able to adjust it out in, in the head location. Okay, Matt, what you you we're talking a little bit about the uh, Schletter head cap here. Could you explain what, what goes on here? Yeah, as we mentioned before, it's not possible to get every post perfectly oriented. So you have some, uh, some misalignment. And basically, the way their head, this head comes pre assembled from Schletter. But with the center pin location, you can see the gap you have in here. You have about an inch and a half up and down from the center position where you can adjust elevation. Okay. And you have a slots on the side where you can adjust it fore and aft about an inch in each direction. And it also rotates. I believe it's uh, 14 degrees off center in either direction that you can uh, adjust for misalignment in the post. Now, how many panels do you have on a rack? 24. It's a okay. two, by, 2 by 12 configuration. And how many posts per rack? There's four posts per rack assembly. Okay, and then how long did it take to put together the racks? Well, what we did is we broke up into different crews. So we started out with a four-man crew building racks. We added another four-man crew. And then once they got ahead, uh, we started adding different crews to put the modules on the racks. Okay. So that work has been ongoing and since uh, probably... Uh, beginning of this year is really when we started with the rack uh, assembly and module installation. So okay. basically two months, January, February, uh, as of tomorrow, we'll essentially be done with the uh, rack assembly. Well, that's outstanding. That's quite a turnaround. Well, I'd like to uh, thank Matt Owens from Ameridian Specialty Services, and this is Tim Pelega with PV Powered Up. We would like to thank our sponsor, Innovatus Solar a turnkey integrator and distributor of PV modules, inverters, and all the additional equipment to install a state-of-the-art photovoltaic system. Visit Innovative Solar at inovateusolar.com.
to find a dealer, purchase PV equipment, inquire about dealerships, or speak with a salesperson about Innovative Solar's turnkey services, including feasibility studies, engineering, construction, and financing. <music>